So when you hear David Kelly is interested in writing the pilot and, and, and going forward as an executive producer with you on their show, what do you think? I literally thought I was being punked. I thought you sort of wonder what it will be like and I remember I was waiting for him to, I was sitting in, in, in somebody's office and they said, oh, he's gonna come here, we're gonna talk. And, Comes in and he's the most, you know, sort of low key guy. You know, he's got his sneakers on, he's got his book. He's like, hey, before we get started, got something to ask you about page 55. You know, here, you know, he just like we went from zero to 60 and, you know, no time flat. And, you know, he, but he's just, he is, uh, he, he is better than you expect, if that, if that were possible, mm -hmm. because people have pretty high expectations for him. But he's even better than that. It's, it's I, you know, you can't say that about many people. He's, he's, he's really terrific. So, what role? You're a co-executive producer. Uh, what role were you playing as the show was was coming together and filming? You know, uh, because the characters I, I knew so well. You know, it took me ten years to write this book. Um, I felt like I could provide uh, certainly a lot of the medical context for you know the specific medical things, but also a lot of the um, the character development, even a little bit on the fly. Uh, what would they be thinking at this point? Just to help, I think, in that context. I did writing as well for the show. I wrote a few episodes with David. Dr. Martin, you're affectionately known among your peers and colleagues as 007. Do you know why that is? Please tell us, Doctor. I believe it has something to do with... license to kill. Mm, it's not a very nice nickname for a surgeon, is it, Doctor? So it's based on the book, but you're talking about now episodic series here. So you've got to come up with new storylines, perhaps that aren't in the book. Are those also coming very much from your real life experiences, or some purely fiction? Some are purely fiction. You know, it's it, and they're not all my. You know, now we have a team of people, right. so it's kind of funny too because you're a mom. You'll appreciate this when you write a book. You, these are your kids to some extent, you know. And now when other people start writing about your kids, it's like you're letting some, you're letting the neighbors yes. take care of your kids for a few weeks. It feels weeks. a little uncomfortable probably. Yeah, you're like, beginning. are they good neighbors? They, how, are they, how are they gonna take care of right. my kids? Are they gonna come back eating chocolate or what's the deal? So it's it's some of that, but um, we, got, we, we're, we got really good writers. But a lot of times we'll take an idea, something that's happening in the news. It could be Canadian healthcare or something like that. And, and we have, we'll incorporate something like that into the storyline. So it's, it's, it, it comes from all sorts of different places.